83 times 10 is one of the biggest packs you can get in FC24. And this video will not come to an end until I unlock the 83 times 10. But first, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Welcome back to the Road of Foot Champions RTG Edition, episode number two. Let's jump into this thing and let's unlock the 83 times 10. Now that you know the main objective, there's gonna be a lot of things we do in this episode as well. First of all, we're gonna Evo our first player. We're gonna pack our first awesome player as well. And I am gonna tell you guys exactly how to do the 83 times 10, but while whilst you're doing it you're going to be collecting so many more packs because there is some important things you have to do holland ha i'm just kidding it's not holland bro i got baited bro i even thought it was going to be that sorloth dude but nah it just ends up being uh jensen all right now listen as you are completing your objectives, lads, your 83 times 10, that's the pack that you should be chasing. 83 times 10, or you can do 84 times 5. You can also get that from there. As you're chasing this thing, you need to look at objectives, and you also need to do this. Friends, center back, Arsenal, Saliba, lads. You need to pull a sick player. No, I'm just kidding. This is big, dude. Lads, this is big for us, man. This card could actually go to the moon. Why? He plays in the Premier League. He's French, which leads Mbappe. Um, he's stupid fast, uh, good defending, good physical. This could be a card that we use long term. Also an inform for later in the series when we do start doing a lot of SBCs. I haven't completed any SBCs yet except for the starter ones. Um, so big boy Saliba is going to be inserted directly into this team with Galeno and all these Porto players. And our main objective of the series should be to get these Porto players off the team because as you guys know, I'm a Portuguese lad and I like Benfica. I don't like no FC Porto. So the quicker we get these players off the team, the quicker success, you know? But uh, either way, let's get back to what we're talking about. All right, getting the 83 times 10, right? I'm doing it by playing squad battles. After you play like 30 games of squad battles, you unlock a, every time you play like 10 games, I think it's like 15, 20, and then like 30 games, you unlock like 500 XP. And then once you're done, you get an extra 500. So the best way is to play as many games as possible. But listen, don't be, be smart. Because even in the beginning when I started out, I, I wasn't being smart. What do I mean by that, right? What I mean by that is this. I was going into a lot of my early games and I forgot that I needed to score 80, uh, 75 finesse shots. 75 finesse shots give you a crazy awesome pack. Scoring 100 goals gives you a crazy awesome pack. But while you're trying to complete the 83 times 10, which we'll get back in a second because we got to talk about Evo, I ended up picking up this boy named w w Wahi. Now, I paid 1,000 coins for Wahi. He is a four-star, four-star, 93 pace with 81 shooting. So I paid 1,100 coins. He also has a gold badge, a 78 overall with a gold badge that helps him score, uh, gives better animations with volleys. So when he goes for bicycle kicks, headers, he's going to get better animations than most cards in the game. And he's a four-star, four-star. And I noticed that when I Evo him, he'll go to a five-star weak foot. So he's going to go to an 80 overall player with 90-something pace, really good dribbling on, on this card with a four-star weak foot. Foot, a five star weak foot and a four star skiller. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome our first Evo to the RTG. My boy Wahi. I hope I'm saying his name right, but a French player that looks like an absolute animal. And I hope I end up uh, Evo e evolving the right player. You know what I'm saying? All I got to do now is get some more Pokeballs. I'm kidding. Every time I talk about e e Evoing a player evolution, I'm, I always think about like Pikachu, bro. Hey, what was your favorite Pokemon? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, also, while you're down there, smash that big old thumbs up. Can we get 5,000 likes in this episode? Episode one. You guys, so much support. Can we do it again? And in the comments down below, you got to let me know what is the best player you have packed. And one more thing you got to let me know. When you get your your uh, your your pack, the Team of the Week pack, you know, from pre-ordering, is that locked to this Team of the Week or can we hold it? Because we are going to get that pack. We're going to get that. And I don't know when to open it. Do I open it now? Do I open it later? Also, we're going to get 4,600 view points at some point. You're going to see them enter into the account because as I was playing the game fully re released and um, yeah. That ends up happening, okay? What else ends up happening is us getting kind of a how who I don't know if I'm going to use. Anyways, I was trying to click, click get the 83 times 10, and I was going at the squad battle games, and everything was going great, lads. I was absolutely dominating, and I forgot that if I scored 75 finesse shots, that I would unlock a sick pack. If you score 10 power shots, you'll unlock a sick pack as well. So these are things that you really want to focus on whilst you're doing the RT, uh, whilst you're doing your 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 unlocking the 83 times 10. All right, and you'll probably have a skill. 75 finesse shots is gonna take me a long time. Honestly, listen, there's two things. You can replay the team of the week squad battle as many times as you want. So you can go into that game on amateur. If you care about having points, so you can get top 100 or elite. That's fine. Play your regular squad battles normally. And then the team of the week one, you can play that one over and over. So you can play it on amateur and then you can play it on legendary again or world class or ultimate again. So look, right here, I complete the 100 goal uh, and I get a rare mega pack. Now, listen what I'm saying to you. You can go into the team of the week on amateur and complete all 75 finesse shots probably in two games because you're on amateur beginning. 
And then you can do the power shots on amateur as well. Every time you shoot a power shot against amateur or pro, it's going to go into the back of the net. So use your time. Yo, it's about it, it's about working smarter, not harder, bro. You want to go in and complete things and make it the easiest as possible. For real. Go into the uh, the squad battles and score the 75 finesse shots as quickly as you possibly can. You're getting a pack. Do the 10 power. I haven't done the 10 power shots yet. I'm going to do it on amateur against um, one of those teams as well. I'm going to do that very soon. Um, but the power shots is a another easy, easy pack for you. You know, So you want to be making sure that you are completing as many objectives as possible in, in the as many, as little as games as possible. G get your 83 times 10. Get your get your get your shots done and start upgrading your team as quickly as possible. Now you're probably turning to me like skills. You know, in the first episode, you told me that you were gonna play drafts, and I haven't seen you play one draft. Also, this is gonna what we're gonna get from the ultimate. See, this is where the ultimate stuff happen, happens. So we get VVD or, or Vinny. I'm gonna take Vinny because I want to try him. I also got Holland, and we also have four thousand six hundred po FIFA points. You're probably saying skills. You told us that you were gonna you were gonna play drafts, and I haven't seen you play one draft yet. You know what I'm saying? You're playing a bunch of offline, bro. It was offline RTG. I I agree with you, but. I did not want to play games until, like I told you guys, everybody had the game. I wasn't trying to play pro players every time I played the game. And uh, French, center forward, and this is clutch. Ladies and gentlemen, big walkout. I think might be our first walkout of the episode, of the series. It's going to be the one and only big boy Benzema. People say I look like him. Y'all trolling. Big boy Benzema's huge. You're like, Skills, that's an average car. It, you would think that, except for he has the gold finesse shot badge. And I just told you guys, I have to score 75 finesse shots. Benzema does not miss finesse shots. So now I'm going to insert him into my team, go into squad battles, and shoot only finesse shots for the next three games. And I am going to complete the 75 finesse shots and get myself easy packs. I also get Jota, which is an okay card because a lot of people are evolving this card uh, so they can link Ronaldo and stuff like that because Ronaldo's pretty good in this game because he has the power shot play styles but when you open up stuff man when you open up the cards guys i want you guys to understand these play styles could be the most important thing in fifa and benzema because he has the gold play style finesse play styles um i am gonna score every single shot with him so i just uh i got very very lucky that he helped so when you're trying to complete objectives make sure you get players with that play style right if you need to score power shots use somebody like cristiano ronaldo or rashford because they have power shot now if you can't afford them i'm pretty sure you can find somebody who has the gold power shot benzema has the gold finesse shot be smart, man. Work less and, and huh? What's the saying, bro? Uh, work uh, fast, work better, not harder. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, we Evo my boy Wally up again because I played a game with him and got the first stuff done. He is now officially, or he's done now. Five star weak foot, four star skiller, 93 pace, 81 shooting with some good dribbling of 81. Card looks pretty crazy. He's played nine games for me, 23 goals, but again, that's offline, so y'all don't really care about that. But yo, ladies and gentlemen, that is a pretty nice card. That's why I decided to go ahead and uh, Evo him. All right. As I'm going through these, you're seeing I'm getting so many many of these things done now i want to talk to you guys for a second about the drafts and also about the play styles all right i don't want to be too all over the place in this episode but i really want to talk to you guys as because i know a lot of y'all are going to start building your teams i have played a bit of this game now okay and i don't understand the meta fully yet and i don't even understand how to defend defending is one of the hardest things uh, probably to any few to any fc game um or previous game that i've played it's very very hard man defending seems so different but the one thing I want you guys to understand is how important play styles are. I I have played a few games now, and I was buying center backs with the, they have like a, a blocking play style. And I thought that was going to be the most important play style in the game, right? Because I was like auto blocks. And again, I don't know the meta yet, so we're just speaking, hypothetically speaking, okay? Um, but I think the jockey one might be one of the most important. Because yesterday I was playing a very, very good player in like Division 7 and on, on the big account. And I was trying to jockey with Rudiger. And I messed up here. Also, let me know in the comments. What are you doing here? Are you taking 83 times 10 or are you taking the 84 by 5? I took the 83 times 10. My friend took the small one and he got Neymar. Um, so I don't know if I made a mistake by doing it this way. But I thought it would be us getting a lot of cards is better than anything else. But like I was saying to you guys, man. I, I was running backwards with Rudiger. He doesn't have the jockey play style, and I couldn't cut back with him. So let me guy, let me know what you guys have the most success with. Is it the blocking uh, play style or the jockeying one on defense? Because I think play styles are going to be one of the most important things in this game. I'm serious, lads. Like, I know a lot of y'all might be like, ah, 
skills. I don't know about that one, bro. Um, I think they might be, man. I, I think that, like, Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't have a lot of pace, right? But I scored a crazy amount of goals with Ronaldo because every time he shot, it went in. That power shot that he has, his finishing ability, he just has a lot of great shots. Also, look at the big pool. Let's go. This is one of the cards that I believe most people are evolving. Um, he, the German winger, absolute stud of a player, by the way. People love this guy. Um, he's a he's a he's a fan favorite in 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 the FC community. You know what I'm saying? Um, Danny Aaron's made him very very popular, and he's just a crazy awesome looking card, man. Crazy speed, crazy shooting, great card, and we got him, and we might be able to Evo him, man. That's a great pickup right there. We got a few more packs, and my game was tripping, so I had to back out the game and come back in because as you can see, every time I was opening, it kept doing that, and then it was just automatically open. For any of us that have played a lot of FC games and previous games, you know that on the release day the servers are going to be in the mud like these you're going to get so many disconnects man you're going to kick off the servers a lot it's just the way the game is um but finally we get back in we start opening packs and we get al halad al, al halad uh ruben neves and i was a little bit disappointed i'm not gonna lie i was really hoping out these next couple packs because i really worked hard for these man these these couple packs right here that we would get something special and out of the big 83 times 10 we get the boy martinez ah oh. It's good, but oh, wait a minute, big ocean, man, as well. Ah, it's in there, boys. It's in there like swimwear. We doing it like Nike. We pull that boy ocean, man. And again, a lot of people will be like, uh, that's not really a good pool. It's a great pool. Crazy speed. I wish his weak foot and his skills were a little bit better. But at the end of the day, it's a huge pool. We also pick up Martinez and Stones. We pick up a Barcelona female. I don't think she's that good, though. Her pace is low. Martinez and Sterling. We get some pretty nice pools. And look at Ocean Man's price, man. His price is in the 60K. So that's a huge pool for us, man. Let's go. It's exactly what we needed, lads. A huge pool. Uh, I'm also probably going to rock out with Martinez, at least to finish off squad battles and stuff like this. And again, a lot of these prices might go up. A lot of these prices might go down. We don't really know how the market's going to work because the game is, you know, brand new. And last year's market was probably one of the lowest markets we've ever seen. I got my boy Gavi, man. Um, I was pretty happy about him. I wish his card was a little bit better because there's a lot of kids that, I, that that in football right now that I'm really uh, enjoying watching. Like, Yamal is one of them, but I don't believe he's in the game because he's too young. Um, I'm really enjoying watching Juan Felix and Pedri and Gavi and for Real Madrid, you know, Vinny and, and, and Jude Bellingham. It's just it's just fun. Football's fun right now, man. But anyways, um, yeah, man, we're going to throw a couple players into the starting 11. We now have Ocean Man. We now have uh, my boy Saliba. So we're going to have to figure out how to get chemistry with all this. But some pretty good pools, man. For episode two, we are making pretty good strides. Um, and we're getting the team way, way better. Again, not all the cards that we're getting going to be starters. But look at that, man. Doku on one side, Sterling on another. If I can find a way to get Ocean Man. And again, I'm so bad with his name. I call him Ocean Man. It's obviously not his name. Um... If I can get him on chemistry, but we started evoing Wahi and Wahi, I think is going to be an incredible player. We started evolving him, and now Ocean Man doesn't really link him. And then we have Martinez, but he doesn't link Wahi. So it's a little bit tough, but this is the way RTGs are. Now, once you understand something, I'm up to almost 30,000 coins. I haven't spent one penny, right? We still have 30,000 coins to really start making moves. Do I buy players for investments? Do we start to actually build our starting 11? I'm not 100% sure yet, man. Uh, but we are going to go back to a little bit early on. Um, we're going to go backwards. You see my coins went from 28,000 down to 1,000. Because I did a draft early, but I searched and I couldn't get any games. So I'm going to have to finish it off. But I do want to go ahead and show you the players I got from the draft and what formation I went with and how important drafts are going to be. So we're going to talk a little bit about my Evos and we're going to talk a little bit more about drafting. Drafting. I told you guys in the first episode. It's tough, man. You're going to match a lot of a lot of good players. I've talked to a few uh, uh, of my friends that are pretty good FIFA players and uh, they're struggling. They get knocked out in the semifinals. Um, so it's, it, it's going to be tough, but I am going to take a lot of losses, but I'm going to continue to enter these things. Now, I have 4,600 FIFA points and when you do an RTG, having FIFA points is is is, is it's it's pretty much the rule of all rules that you can't do the problem is now that the ultimate edition is kind of what everyone is buying it's just the way gaming is right now companies drop a couple different editions and if you want to play the game early you got to buy the good one uh you got to buy the big one and i think a lot of us if we can afford it we, we buy it because we want to play the game early we don't want to wait longer I, every game i play right now i'm buying it earlier than normal because I just want to play it early. So I didn't even really care about the FIFA points or the FC points. I cared about playing the game early. Um, so we have them and now we got to do something with them. And this is something I want to tell you guys about is I seen a lot of people jump directly into the game and start wasting 4,600 because EA's dropping promo packs right now. And I'm like, bro, no, don't do that. Last year, I remember there was times where EA dropped like hero packs in stores or like kind of like wild packs that no one thought saw coming. 
wait for that. If you're going to have 4,600 fuel points on your account like I do, I'm going to wait for something crazy. And in the meantime of waiting for something crazy, I'm going to use as, those fuel points to go into drafts because, you know, I, 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 you know, I get to play with the big cards on the RTG and, and I get to also get rewards. For me, it's a win-win because I get to use cards and try cards out and see if there's cards I want to bring into my team because I don't know who to invest into right now. But over, over, over time playing drafts, I'll start to play with certain cards that I know I'll start to like and I'll go that way and build a team around that. So what I'm trying to say is use drafts for rewards, but also use drafts to see if you find players that you like or find leagues that you want to go into. Maybe you you you, you play drafts, you never thought you were going to go La Liga, now you're going La Liga because there's a card you really like. Things like that, right? I, that's what I'm doing with my, my FC points, but am I going to use them? I am going to use them on the account, lads, because it came with the account. It's just the new way of, I guess, RTGs or whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't want to go and spend them all on the packs. I think that's kind of wild to do because packs are just not good, man. I've, I spent a lot on my big account, barely got anything. So if I was you, I wouldn't go into packs, man. I wouldn't go crazy spending it all on packs because I, I, like I said, I have a big account where I wasted a lot of a lot of money, man. And the best pool I got was not really a best pool. I know I hit Ronaldo and a couple cards like that, but yeah, no icons, no inform salas, nothing like that. So at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say to you guys is you got to be really smart, man. If you think 4,600 foil points, look, you might open and get an icon on the first one and you all happy. But at the end of the day, it's really, 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 really luck based. And, and, and you know, I, I think maybe wasting your 4,600 foil points on drafts or maybe waiting for a really cool promo pack that comes out where you're guaranteed something. That might be your best bang for your buck. But hey, guys, I'm your boy, Double A. Nice skills, boy, your nation. I hope you enjoy the RTG, man. I hope you enjoy the Road for Champions RTG episode number two. Number three is going to be even crazier. Hopefully, we can make more crazy upgrades, guys. I love you guys, and I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to hit that big old thumbs up subscribe, and I will catch you back here tomorrow for another RTG episode. Until then, y'all stay safe. Y'all stay beautiful. Booyah, we out of here.